phenomenal ride in though by Kristen Faulkner. Let's not forget Lucinda Brown started the climb 50 seconds ahead of Faulkner. She will have the news in her radio that Kristen Faulkner is hot on her heels. Only 12 seconds now between these two riders. Kristen Faulkner has got the edge in terms of having that character chase. Lucinda Brown is just going to have to keep herself focused, keep looking forward, try and give absolutely everything she's got to the line now. It's only 1.5 kilometers to go. She's going to go through that flam rouge. Who has got more left in the tank? And don't forget, so on the first sprint of uh, at Davos, Kristen Faulkner took one second to take her lead out to five seconds over Lucinda Brown, who took three seconds at the second intermediate sprint to pull it back to two seconds, 10, six and four on the line, but she's got to get herself on here. 1.4 kilometers to go, still 13 seconds. Lucinda Brand takes a look back over her shoulder. What does she have left on the climb here? The road will keep rising. Faulkner, one last big effort now as she starts to just little by little, it's 250 meters to go to the, uh, the queen of the mountains point. And then we have 1.2 kilometers to go to the summit, but it's just a glance here and a glance there and a big effort and one last big push but Lucinda Brand, Kristen Faulkner now out of the saddle as she tries to save this race overall but Lucinda Brand, what a rival that she's got, Faulkner little by little just closing this gap now the rider from the USA is going to get on it looks like as Lucinda Brand the effort but Kristen Faulkner one last big effort gets onto the wheel of Lucinda Brand so the first two in the general classification and she goes straight past, uh, best move here, see if she she can now put Lucinda Brand on the ropes. Phenomenal riding from Kristen Faulkner here. She's got to think about those seconds come the finish. She's going to have to be careful now with Lucinda Brand sitting on the wheel of Kristen Faulkner. Kristen Faulkner only two seconds ahead of Lucinda Brand, remembering those sprint bonification points that both riders have picked up today. So the finish is going to be absolutely vital for both these two riders. Paula, Paulina Ryak is now as lost time. She's been caught by, uh, it looks like Brody Chapman and Erica Magnaldi just up ahead as well. Roy Akers, McNaudi and Chapman there with the battle for the race overall for the stage win for the yellow jersey between Lucinda Brown and Kristen Faulkner. Look at the face of Lucinda Brown and the weather conditions, the rain coming in. And look at Lucinda Brown as she grits her teeth to try and stay here with Kristen Faulkner through the Flam Rouge now. One kilometre to go. This is going to be some sprint between these two riders at the top of the climb here in Lanch. What a stage we have been treated to. The final of four stages of this year's uh, Tour de Suisse. It will become a World Tour stage race next year and deservedly so given the battles that we have had here. Paulina Roy here from Canyon Shram has done everything that she could to try and deliver back for the teammates today. Magnaldi and Chapman just ahead of her. It's the yellow jersey on the front. Lucinda Brand, little sketchy moment there for the Trek Segafredo rider. The most incredible stage race we've seen. The battle has been absolutely immense. And again, we're going to see the finish and the GC decided on bonus seconds. And we would never have predicted that. So it just shows how significant they can be throughout the stage, not just on the finish line, but also the intermediate sprints throughout the stage as well. Back to Paulina Rorakis as well. She's going to do everything she can to defend her third place on GC that she has virtually on the road. Gapping Georgia Williams, who started the day in third position they're looking to try and put herself on to the podium as uh, Brody Chapman and Erica Magnaldi and they're not far off the back of these two as well but Lucinda Brand has now just uh, latched herself onto the wheel of Kristen Faulkner to try and line this up for her second stage victory of this of this race Kristen Faulkner as well could make it two and that's uh, all important first general classification victory of her career 500 meters to go for the riders in the distance as Brody Chapman for FDJ in the gap behind tries to keep themselves in podium positions. What a fight. What is going through the mind now of Kristen Faulkner on the front. There's uh, both of these riders, both again at the end of a tough stage such as this. Kristen Faulkner
the finishes quick. We've seen her in races uh, finish super fast, but they turn left now. 400 meters to go up towards the line. Faulkner's going to lead this one out. Lucinda Brand on the wheel. This is going to set themselves up beautifully for the sprint finish, but it's the yellow jersey on the front. Lucinda Brand poised and ready on the wheel as they just spring through these final corners. Lucinda Brand now out of the saddle. Does Faulkner have anything left in the sprint? It doesn't look like she does. Lucinda Brand now lines up for these final corners. Through there, has Faulkner got herself back in there? It's tight through here. Oh, oh no, Kristen Faulkner just goes down. It was so tight on that final corner. Slides out there. It was so, so tight, that little corner there. It was so slick, but Lucinda Brand takes the stage. Kristen Faulkner's picked herself up. Unfortunately, that affects things as well, but she'll take those bonus seconds. What a shame, that's never happened. We like to see things decided, but Kristen Faulkner crosses the line in second ahead of Brody Chapman and Erica Magnaudi. But the stage win goes to Lucinda Brown. It was just so slick and so tight that final little corner. It was really tight, and it was clear to me that Lucinda Brown had done her research in the final of that one, taking over as the road got technical. And unfortunately for Kristen Faulkner, just slipping out on that last bend, and I think. Actually, looking back at it, even if uh, Kristen Faulkner hadn't have crashed, it would have been Lucinda Brand to come out on top there. But even so, never like to see that in a final of the race. But what a finish from Lucinda Brand. She did absolutely everything she could there to take that one overall, not only for the stage, but to take over with the yellow jersey. And now we see riders get into the top of this summit climb. But what a stage race this has been. We've seen some absolutely phenomenal bike racing. We have indeed. We saw Flora Jim Mackay finishing. Petra Strasny and Neve Bradbury coming up next. As uh, the next riders come home, here's Olivia Barriel, Inkfuk Goskian, and Yolanda Neff just coming home behind them. So Barriel comes in, Hedda Goskian from Team Coop, and there's Yolanda Neff.